Daily paid employees at the Studley Park Quarry in Tobago say they haven't received salaries since December. Added to that, they have been without personal protective equipment since October 2015 and are forced to perform their duties under those circumstances. They say they've had enough and began working to rule on Thursday. Patricia Nicholson has the details. Marlon Rajman, shop steward for the Union of National Government and Federated Workers, who spoke on behalf of the daily paid employees at the Studley Park Quarry, said it's mandatory that workers receive their PPE annually, and that, he said, has not been happening. We have worked all of 2016 in good faith, hoping that they would have produced such. We have workers who have damaged three pairs of shoes due to the conditions, the harsh conditions at Stolly Park Quarry, with no compensation. We think we had just about enough of that, and the workers have decided, and I as the representative here, I'm supporting the stance that we do not continue working in 2016 without the, the man 2017, sorry, without the management providing for us PPE. He said what makes the situation even worse is that no salaries have been paid to these the same workers since December. We are totally peeved about this. Arrears are going on on our loans, late fees and so on, which are, are a major inconvenience to workers. Our salaries are small. We don't receive exorbitant salaries as some others do. So we depend on our salaries to carry us through. He also spoke of a strange situation that occurred on Thursday morning. This morning at 10.20, the engineer came to work and instructed that all the, the, the cards be clocked. Persons who were here, their cards were clocked out and we've been told that we cannot leave. This is a strange phenomenon that your cards being clocked out and you cannot leave. So we are a bit confused by that development. Mr. Rajman said the workers need their issues addressed now to avoid continued work to rule action. I'm Patricia Nicholson for C News. Senior spoke with the engineer at the quarry, Kiev Crook, who declined going on camera. He told us, however, that he is aware that the workers have been without personal protective equipment for a while. He admitted to not having the funds to deal with the matter until the 3rd January 2017, when he was instructed to use monies provided to buy the equipment. He said all his paperwork was done and was sent to the main office at the Division of Infrastructure and Public Utilities to be approved. Mr. Crook noted that the process of acquiring PPE was a tedious one and that it would take some time before the workers received their gears. As for the non-payment of salaries, he said he had no control over that situation and referred us to the administrator of the division. The secretary of the division, Gary Melville, told of CNews non-payment of salaries was because of the workers' absenteeism during the Christmas period. He assured, however, that the workers would begin receiving their salaries from Friday.